My name is Timothy Trespass, and like I said before, I am a targeted individual. Just brushing my teeth for the first time in quite a while, because for some reason I forget to do that. It never used to happen. And I don't know if you can see it here, but. My teeth are not in good shape. Yes, they're yellow and stained. I have cavities. Big black rotting out stuff. And it all started in the hotel where they put stuff in our room that ate everything. <coughs> it ate our clothing, it ate our skin, it ate our teeth, it had bugs in our mouth. Still do. It had sort of a rash of little flitty, yicky, bitey things that go into your skin and leave pimples and leave their payload because we've been going through all our stuff as we're preparing to move and uh, you know, with the wind storms and the cold and whatever yesterday I actually went out and walked around in the snow storm looking for if there were any new rooms posted but I didn't find any today I didn't go out laid in bed because I've been under attack horribly. This high frequency and the sickness and the rah, 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 and poor Petra with the blah 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 and the mind control. They're really tormenting her and the, the inside, what they're doing inside, she's connecting to what's really going on in the outside world and I choose not to believe that that's the fact. I mean yes it's going on but you know I don't know. I know it's interactive and whatever, but so she came in from the store and the super saw her in the hall and said, oh, so are you looking for a place? Have you found a place? And no, we haven't found a place for looking and whatever. And oh, well, the electric, you're using your electric, it costs me money. And she said, okay, I'll give you some money for it. And she came back and got some money and went and knocked on his door and he didn't answer. And now she's all upset because I don't know why she feels like, uh, in 28 years, I've never had this problem living in New York. It used to be that just being responsible and paying your bills on time was enough. But not anymore, quote unquote, is how she feels. And I don't blame her, you know. We're living in this place where they want us out a long time ago. And the only reason we're here is because we're brave enough and have rights and but, you know, who knows what they're going to try next, man. They've pulled a bunch of crazy shit already. It's still playing out, you know. They've been nice for a moment because they know when they go to court, they're going to look like monsters if they're not, <laughs> you know. And, uh, so they need to accomplish their purpose. And we're not naive. I mean, you know, it's the carrot and the stick, you know. It offers you $2,000 to get out. And you're going, what's that going to do if I have nowhere to go? So we're looking, 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 and every place we've seen so far has either been too small, too expensive. Uh, just the other day we went and saw something that was $600 a month inside of a man's living room. Uh, one corner of the living room was cordoned off with like styrofoam wall insulation. <laughs> like the kind of construction you do when your landlord doesn't let you do any construction and it's only temporary and it was painted like this road sign orange like he found a can of paint on the street that was used to paint the street and painted the walls and the floor and the ceiling and it had no door he was a nice man but he had this desperate like peeking out the window look like oh i don't know <laughs> and there were three rooms in the apartment anyway you don't want to live in someone's apartment when you're renting a room if you can help it, you want a private entrance, uh, or at least the room on the other end, you know? And anyway, I, I don't know what's going to happen, man. We've always managed to pull it together at the last minute. The last minute has been going on, and that's cool. I don't mind not paying rent for a few months. I mean, there's no other way we could really do this because the money we don't have is not enough to just get up and go, you know? Um, so we can put a little aside and make it possible to actually move to another room. If 
for some reason I have this fantasy that like somehow we can make some choice that will make it better. That somehow there'll be some choice where they won't hound us anymore, where they won't make us move again, where they won't send people to torment us, where they won't, you know, whatever. Even if they're gonna do the electronic shit, at least we could lay there and just be tortured and die, you know, like someplace to be left alone and I don't think that's gonna happen. I can't seem to find one. And there's been a number of people out there, very, very kind, gracious people who have offered themselves and their place and whatever to us and for that I'm grateful. And I say thank you and I got a list. <laughs> I have a list. And uh, if it comes down to it, we'll be there. But you know, so don't think that, uh, anyway, thank you, thank you, thank you to everyone who's cared and prayed and watched and donated and commented and offered themselves and we know what it's like. And I think that's the only way we're going to do anything is by helping one another, at least emotionally supporting one another as best we can. And I know I take like long lapses from this social, uh, I don't know, man, I lay in bed, I stare at the ceiling, I pray, I watch cartoons over and over and think about the mind control. I mean, I just, I keep hoping there'll be some solution <laughs> that I will find. This lady has this lot with all these shipping containers and she's cool. <laughs> But the city wants her out, and so she's got to go. She doesn't want to let me in there. Supposedly she has another lot somewhere else, and she's thinking of re you know, doing this business with the containers where you rent them out, and people store shit and use them as offices or whatever. I'm going to talk to her and see if it's even a reality or if that's just something in her mind, because she's got all this pressure from the city. They want her to pay people under the table and all kinds of, you know. She's like, I'm not going for that. This is, she knows what's up. Not, I don't know whether we, you know, whether that's a reality. Pedro's like, I don't want to live any place cold. <laughs> I'm like, I don't want to live any place cold either. <laughs> I have to insulate everything. I make it, you know, it could be really the coolest thing since sliced bread, or it could be the worst nightmare since the Titanic. <laughs> I don't know. So I was trying to calm her down because she gets all angry and incensed and. I don't blame her, but still, it's like, calm down, it's okay, a little harassment, no big deal. I know how the, the, the super is, he's like all whiny, and he's like, you get really uncomfortable around him because he has this vibratory emanation of like, I don't know what it is, there's something about him that just isn't, he's a nice man, he's got a wife and like grandkids, and I'm sure, you know, I'm sure they love him, and he, uh, you know, maybe it's just the English-Spanish thing, there's something just not quite... <laughs> I don't know what it is. He's hard to communicate with, I guess. Because he sort of nods and everything, but it doesn't... Anyway, we both hate being in this position. We want to fix it, you know, have all these complications and, and decisions and medications and doctors and uh, New York and... I don't know what we're doing, I don't know what we're going to do, and I just pray and hope that God will send us in the right direction and put us on the right path. You know, I know there will come a time where it's time to go, you know, and I'm uh, afraid of that, but I'm also sort of looking forward to it in a weird sort of way. Don't go gently into the dark night. I'm trying not to go too gently. Try not to go anywhere until I'm called. Um, yeah, I think about, you know, I've got this chest pain. And I'm thinking about all this stuff that the Morgellons leaves in your blood. And <laughs> like, why well, I can't get any doctors to even look at my blood under a microscope. It's... Uh, Oh, the federal government is making a list of people who have mental health issues so that they can prevent them from buying guns. So the story goes, you and I both know what the real truth is. So, let's
would stay off of those lists. It's probably too late for me, but God bless y'all. That's my story, and I'm sticking to it.